Can you actually believe we're here on the 5th? And it's actually less than three weeks till Christmas Day now. Anyway, up it goes. And today I'm putting up the pear that goes with the partridge. And I'm going to put them next to that because I think they should be together. And I've just come back from posting the first of the bags going so they've all gone first class and hopefully they'll be winging their way to their recipients and I'm now going to be uh, taking my bird feeders out. I'm out in my front garden because it's still important to be feeding the birds in this cold weather. And I thought I'd put up my new newly created willow things. I've got a feeling this is maybe not quite got enough straight bits in and they might just fall out but I'm going to give it a go so that's my it looks nice that's for sure but whether as the birds eat it it'll just fall out entirely well it's an experiment so definitely looks pretty good there so I've got um, this this feeder is for goldfinches and it has what's called niger seed in I've got some of that here and it particularly brings the finishes in I'm going to fill this right up to the top. Finches, they they like thistle seeds and teasel seeds. So that's the gold finches, and I do love them, and quite often there can be four or five on here. Might be a bit of noise because I'm on the front road. It's not a very busy road, but it's still on the front. Now oh, I've got this one, which. I like, the sh I like the shape of, but it's a bit of a funny shape. I'm going to see if the seed will actually stay in. This is wiggly seed. It's got all sorts of seeds in it. Let's see if the seed actually stays in the feeder. There might be a design flaw on here. It could just be that I'm not a very good willow seed feeder maker. I think that'll be all right. I think it might be all right. I might hang this. I'm going to hang this on the other side and turn you around. So this is this is the dining room side. So I think I think I can take that one off and put this one on. It looks really cute. I can fill this one up and take that one off. I think I change whatever I'm feeding them, dependent on the year, on the time of year. I think the birds always love this when it falls out. sure it's nicely put on. You can hear my chimes in the background. I have wind chimes on the front door. So yeah, okay, just have to wait and see what comes. I'm going to fill this one with some black sunflower. I think, I think the birds are well catered for now. I'm actually going to show you some willow as well. I thought I'd show you how to make some willow wands and they're really lovely you can put a few of them in among a vase of decoration vase of flowers and they look lovely or with the addition of a bit of tinsel or silver thread they're really lovely little presents to give proper little fairy ones i would have done this outside but it's so cold i've brought everything inside so first of all i need to just decide on a on a length of wand that you want and you just take your thumbs and just give it a little bend. So I just measure it all by my hand so if you've got big hands you'll get a bigger star but I just measure along measure along my finger from I put that in my thumb measure along my finger and then make another little another little bend in the willow and then from there you've now got a measurement so I can just fold that over and do another little bend and fold it over and do another little bend and then I end up with a little wiggle and it's got one, two, three, four bends in it. And so this is where the magic happens. I can just fold this down until you get a triangle and if you fold it down a bit more you get well, from my end is a number four, so I'll turn it round. Try and do it from your way round. 
and so you've already creased it so you know that all your star points are going to be the same size and so this one's gone on for the front so we just take this one and take it through from the back and we're going to feed that point through and then very carefully we're just going to ease that underneath and all of a sudden you can see the star taking shape and it sort of starts to hold together and you've got your other little bend there so you know the point's going to be perfect and this one's gone under that one and it's in front of that one and so I'm just going to bend that and I'm going to weave again so I'm going to go behind this one through the middle and over that and it'll just go through because it's nice and flexible and so you end up with something like that and this is where you just have to keep arranging it know that this is going to come down to make the next point so you can just keep having a little fiddle until you've got a star that you're really happy with i think that looks pretty good and so the last little point comes down onto the handle and so you just put your hand put your fingers on put your fingers on and you wrap the end of it round tightly now if you can thread it through the wraps and make it tight that's great and if you can't just put a little bit of wire on or a little bit of garden string and it's going to be perfectly fine and it'll dry and it'll stay tight i'm going to put a bit of string on there make that tight again i'm going to hold that i'm going to wrap the string around a few times and I'm going to tie it off in a double knot. Okay, so I've tied that off. So what I can do next, I can just take these old scissors. I'm just going to cut the cut the string back. And I'm going to cut this little end off because I don't think I want it there. I'll just cut that back as well. And we've got a lovely star. A little starry wand. I'm going to put some I'm going to put something pretty on there. So I'm just I'll take a bit of this. A bit of this silver thread and I'm going to just loop it up and put the thread end through the loop again and I think that's so sweet when I first found out how to make them I absolutely made loads of them and they're really nice for putting on a present too you can you can cut this down if you want um, and just lay them on top of a present and put your put your string round or whatever you're wrapping your present up with and it's a really nice natural decoration i'm going to show you that again so leave us leave a stalk and put your little bends in i take the first bend into the crook of my thumb and i do it the length of my finger once you've got that measurement you just need to keep putting the little bend on with your thumb and the more accurate you are with this measurement the nicer your star will look and you can see how springy it is it'll just spring apart now I can bring it down put it in front there's the next bends already there waiting for you so that bit goes behind and this bit comes through the middle let's come in front so we go behind and through again so the last point gets made down onto the onto the handle and you just hold it where you want it to be tightly and wrap this piece round. I'll just tie this off. I've just got a little bit of garden string and I'll put a couple of knots in it, just normal knots. Cut that back, cut the end of that back. I'm going to go and get a ribbon for this one. I think they're a really nice little craft and they look nice on presents. Actually, I think one year I actually made three of these quite small and I stuck them into the top of the Christmas cake as a decoration and they had little parcels around the bottom and they looked really cute. And one year I made lots of them and put them on everybody's parcel. That's me signing off for today and I hope uh, that's something that you might think that would be nice to make. Would you like to make it, Boo? Would you? And I will see you tomorrow with another make. Might be a recipe tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Might be a recipe. Give me a like and a subscribe if you've liked it. I know I'm doing quite... <laughs>
I think these are quite gentle little advent videos, um, but I hope you like them. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you again tomorrow, won't we, Boo? Hey? Won't we? You're a terror, aren't you? She is a terror. Yes, are you a curry cat? Go on then, down you go. Bye everyone. Bye from Marion's work.